I bought a couple of awesome stuff while shopping today for my weekly grocery. I decided to go to Ternosa. A little bit about Ternosa, I've spoken about it before. It's basically a place where you can have like the big shopping malls, really, really nice apartment and houses. So I decided to go to the action and get some stuff so I could work more on my cardio and lose a little bit of weight whilst gaining these muscles. For a while and actually believe it or not, I've only used it once or twice. I do not use it simply because I don't do cardio workouts. What I mainly focus on is gaining muscles, shoulders, sit-ups, and I really also don't like the flavor. I think it's fucking disgusting. That's just my opinion. And whenever I do use it, it gives me this weird feeling in my heart. Like my chest just goes boom, 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 boom. And I don't want that. So yeah, I do not recommend this unless you do really, really crazy workouts. But in general, when you get pre-workout stuff, you're better off just buying the more expensive one. It's probably healthier and it's also just better performance-wise. Obviously, I got the energy bar, and why do I buy energy bars? They are very low in protein, very low in fiber. It says it already, it says protein bar, so don't expect it high in protein, high in fiber. The only reason why I buy these is to just to give me a little bit of a boost before I do my workout or any type of like heavy chore. I like this one, the strawberry one. You got the raspberry one as well from this brand, but I'm not a big, big fan of it. I like the strawberry one more. It's got a little bit of a yogurt coating. Not too bad and it definitely helps you like 5 or 10 minutes before your workout. So before I work out or after my workout, and normally I take this after my workout, so like for recovery, because it is very important when you've done your workout that you recover your body and let it heal. So I then sometimes take this one and I just decided to buy this one without looking. A chocolate one. I'm going to assume that the chocolate one is probably really disgusting. I got a yoga mat and the only reason I got a yoga mat is because I really don't have any place in my bedroom that is comfortable to put push-ups and sit-ups on. And you know what? Fuck it. Why not? Meditate a little bit as well. I think it's healthy. I hope it works. We shall find out just now. It's 1 meter 70 by 58 by 0.5 centimeter. Carry strap included. Anti-slip. Oh, well that is good to know. Got a workout band set because I've also decided to do sit-ups and also decided to do squats. I did squats two days ago and two days later, my legs are still hurting like a motherfucker. I did 35 squats and goddamn, squats are very heavy. I also bought ropes because ropes really do a lot of wonders for losing weight and it's just good to have a little bit of extra cardio and a little bit of fitness. Here we got the K-Ton Sport workout band set, three resistant levels, you got three pieces, you've got light, medium and heavy. Yeah, I gotta read the description first because I've never used these. I will probably do this exercise because I wanna focus on my arms and chest. This is light, this is medium, and this is heavy. Oh, I get it. You're supposed to put it under your feet. It's very stretchy. It's basically like a, a condom almost, like a balloon. You know those slingshots you used to make as a kid? At least I did this type of material so your stone could go fucking far. We're gonna be trying out the light one first. Oh yeah, indeed. That's a fucking nice workout. Like I said, this material, I don't think it's going to last very long. But I can feel it in my arms. Holy shit. And this is just a light one as well. Oh, this will definitely do a lot of wonders. I yeah, I'm supposed to do it like this. That's quite nice, actually. I can confirm, it does indeed work. We got the medium one. It's a little bit shorter than the uh, light one. It's not as stretchy as the light one, but... I don't think I will be using this one. Because it kind of hurts my back. But it definitely works, believe it or not, this isn't going to last long. So you're probably better off just buying a more expensive one. But yeah, it does work. Now the last one's going to be the heavy one. So let's see how that one goes. This is the heavy one. You can definitely feel it's the heavy one because of the fact that it's shorter. But it's actually, uh, it's actually very nice. I don't really know what this exercise is really meant for. But fuck, my arms are starting to feel a bit hurt. That's good. This is a really nice combination. This will do uh, quite light. It's actually really nice. So obviously you don't have to do just that one. You can also do different type of workouts if you want to with the straps. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to flap it. Oh, okay, I get it. That's heavy, man. I'll keep this though. And, oh, I got an adjustable one, shit. Why is there a screw in it? I'll be back just now. I managed to get it customized. It took a bit, but it worked. Feels pretty nice, feels pretty good. It's not your typical average rope, it's actually a metal rope. Quality's not bad, it should last you for a while. Oh yeah! Oh, this works great, man. I remember doing this since high school. 
It's been a few years, but... Oh, that definitely works. That's a 10 out of 10. Last but not least, the yoga mat. What are you looking at? Oh, it stinks. Oh, it smells nasty. The yoga usi. I do not know how to describe it, but it smells like shit for some reason. It feels pretty good. It feels pretty uh, drippy. I mean, it says it's meant for yoga, but you can pretty much do anything on it if you want to. Why does she look retarded? It's got this weird elastic band on it. Oh, it's to hold it in shape. Why the fuck would I need that? I would clean this first, honestly. I just don't know if it's on the wrong side or on the good side. It's too small for me, I can't fit on it. I think it's too, it's probably too small for me. <laughs> Oh, but this is amazing. We could do sit-ups easy. Well, at least I found a purpose. It works. I can stop making OnlyFans content now. <laughs> How have I not been cancelled yet? I don't know. I would probably say the things that you use for your arms and legs is my favorite workout. That is going to increase so much gains and shit for me. This was the video, I testing out gym products. You did not ask for this video. I did not mean to make this video, but I was like, hey, I'm going to Tenoza anyways. Why not just go and do my groceries and get some extra shit for the workout? I do work out almost every single day. And these protein bars are great. You can make them homemade as well, obviously. Homemade are obviously way cheaper, but it's just, it, I don't got the fucking time for making bars and shit. I got other stuff to do in the farm. So like I said already, right, the protein stuff, the creatine I use is not in the video. I do use creatine, that's how I got these muscles so fast. I just don't really recommend this. I don't know what it is. I don't like the flavor. I don't like the smell. Uh, I haven't used it in weeks because of the fact that it just gives me a weird feeling in my chest. Oh, it's horrible. Ugh, so shit, man. I'm gonna try this double chocolate one out tonight for the workout and see if this is tasty or not. Hope you enjoyed it, a bit of a different video. I hope you could enjoy this video with a little bit of laughs and giggles. And I will see you in the next video. Recommend me some stuff that I should purchase down below that I can make a video on. And there's an end on my camera. See you.